What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you 10 of my favourite free icon packs for Android 2016. First up we have Sunrise, now this has a really good selection of icons, it's probably going to cover everything you need in terms of theming your entire app drawer, it's definitely going to do your home screen. In terms of how these icons look, they are slightly 3D on a sort of white grey base. They do have drop shadows but they're very very subtle and the use of colour is also pretty subtle. They're bright bright colours but they're used very sparingly and they really bring out um, the icons and make them really pop. There are also some wallpapers designed to go alongside and complement this icon pack. They are pretty minimal and a lot of them have dark backgrounds with light accents which again looks beautiful on a Super AMOLED screen so I love them. Next up we have Moonshine. This icon pack has been around for a while. It's kind of a take on material design. It's a little bit more simple compared to something like the Sunrise icon pack. It has a very simple clean design with bright, predominantly primary colours. They use repeating geometric shapes and different tones of colour to create really nice sort of dense 3D effects. This combined with popping icons looks really really nice. As you can see here, compared to the chrome icon for Sunrise, you can see that they look a lot flatter and a lot more, it's not minimalistic, but it's a much cleaner feel. Next up on this list we have Moonrise, and yeah, there's going to be something of a theme of suns and moons in this video for some reason. But Moonrise is the dark version of Sunrise. It's very similar in terms of having a slightly 3D feel, except all the backgrounds are a much darker grey um, edging towards black. The colours again pop really nicely, in fact I think they pop even more in this just because the background colours are so dark. Next up we have Desaturate and this is an icon pack which you're either going to love or you're going to hate. It's got an almost steampunk vibe to it, it's got lots of autumnal colours so it's lots of oranges and yellows and browns. These are generally put against a greyish background so these work best with a slightly darker more minimal setup. The variety of the icons is really impressive and one of the things I really like about these icons is they're not overly simple yet they somehow form a kind of cohesive aesthetic across your phone. I think this is just because of the use of colour but if you twin these with the right coloured wallpaper they look absolutely stunning. Desaturate walks that line between feeling almost cartoony but not quite. It's got a sort of semi-serious vibe to it. It kind of reminds me of Fallout for some reason. If an icon pack can be dystopian, I think Desaturate is probably somewhere in that camp. Next on this list we have got Saturate and as you would imagine this is the light version of Desaturate. Again the icon packs are incredibly varied, all that stuff, but this time they are ever so slightly lighter. The colour palette is pretty similar except that all of the dark tones have been replaced with white or lighter greys. It is very similar to Saturate, so if you like Saturate, you're probably going to like Desaturate and vice versa. For some reason, I think because of the lighter colours, Saturate feels slightly more formal than Desaturate, and it tends to work slightly better on an IPS display. Next up we have Min, which is an icon pack for all of you minimalist lovers out there. This will turn all of your icons white, although if it doesn't have the actual selection of the app sort of pre-installed as an icon, it will convert it to an icon by putting a small white circle around the original. So this means there is some colour in your app drawer, but it's pretty muted and minimal. There's also some really nice minimal wallpapers which really make the minimalist icons pop. This is a great icon pack if you're looking to theme your home screen. If you don't care as much about having that sort of continuity in your app drawer, if you just want to have very, very minimal icons on your home screen, um, sort of almost theming them individually, then Min is a really good icon pack. Next, we are going to inject some colour back into proceedings. This icon pack is called Rondo. This is one of the more colourful icon packs that I use. I love the fact that it is very, very unified because it just chucks a circle around every single icon. The actual selection is really, really impressive. I haven't had any issues with finding an app that hasn't been themed. Although the icons feel quite flat, there is a subtle drop shadow, which is not overdone at all. It gives a slight 3D feel without sort of overpowering the general aesthetic. If you want something that's just very, very colorful and looks very unified because everything is circular, then Rondo is a really good bet. Next up we have Candy Coms. This is a kind of cute, colourful icon pack. They've got a really good variety of icons for pretty much everything you can imagine. And what I really love about this icon pack is the sort of slightly cartoon, childlike nature of it. Slightly weirdly, whereas the icons are kind of slightly colourful and kiddie, the wallpapers are actually quite sort of mature. 
They're predominantly really nicely done nature photography and they're just beautiful. They're a really, really nice selection of wallpapers. Next up, we have sunrise early in the morning. I did warn you there was gonna be this weird theme of moons and suns. Sunrise is a very simple looking icon pack. I almost say that it looks kiddie, but it doesn't quite. It's just very sort of simple and slightly understated. The use of color is really nice. Again, it's gone for predominantly primary colors, which surprise, surprise, look fantastic on an AMOLED display. The wallpaper selection is very, very nice. These are some of my favorite wallpapers in any of these icon packs. They're very, very minimal and they've got a lovely combination of very colorful elements on darker backgrounds. And finally on this list, we've got Polycon. Now these are actually somewhat similar to the Sunshine icon pack but they feel slightly less minimal. They still have very minimal use of colors. They're predominantly primary colors, though you've got a bit of green and stuff thrown in there as well for good measure. The wallpapers are taken predominantly from nature and they are really, really beautiful. I really love the Raven one. There's one of a doe and there's a couple of cliff tops, which are just absolutely stunning. I really can't fault them in terms of icon coverage. And if you're looking for something that is simplistic, but not quite as simplistic as Sunshine, then Polycon is a really good option. So there you are guys, those are my top 10 free icon packs of 2016. I might go ahead and do an updated version of this towards the end of the month, although I have got a lot of other stuff coming out for you guys as well. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and you've enjoyed what you saw. So please do let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you would like to see. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.